All right, guys, I'm going to show you a very useful tool that helps you in your reloading. Uh, I've got a couple of these in different calibers. In fact, I need to get a few more. But uh, this is the Lyman case length headspace gauge. It comes with all the little instructions and yada, yada, yada. But it comes in real handy. You get this gauge that gives you overall length and um, case diameter. So like we have here, this is a Verdan once fired 223 case. And as you see, it don't fit in there. Comes in real handy if you got like like I have usually have them in the coffee can. I usually write on top of them. What uh, you know, like these are ready. But sometimes you know you can go through there and you can say, oh, whoop, wait a second, that one's not ready. And I usually leave this on the bench, just uh, in between um, positions, so I can look at it. Right, I'll show you here. Here is actually a case that has been resized. And as you see, get that little cutout that fits flush across there, and it actually has. If you can see that or not, if you had a case that was above um, minimum for uh, above maximum, it would actually hang out the bottom, and that would real good way where you could sit there and just take all your cases and drop them in so you'll know if they need to be trimmed or not and same way with loaded rounds you know a lot of people's like oh I got some rounds that I just they just won't fit in my gun you know they don't run right you might want to check and see if you can drop them in like that that's what I like to do with all my factory loads these are actually ones that I reloaded myself I usually use the magtech primers if I can get them because it's got that little telltale ring in it makes it real handy for telling apart from pistol primers rifle primers it's just a characteristic but uh you can just take and drop your rounds in there and if they fit I know a lot of people say that with certain dies I use the uh, lead dies in fact I use the uh, Three die uh, uh, set. If I turn it upside down, I won't dump them out. But I used a three die set with a factory crimp die. It works great. Haven't had any, had any problems with it. But uh, if you take, if you start having a cycling issue, or you get some rounds that you think are suspect, you can always just drop them down in here and see and if they'll fit in here they should fit in a standard chamber I know some uh, people say they need small base dies or whatever they're called I had never had to run any problems with that because my lead usually doesn't but you know when you resize you have the width of the shell holder and some of them will go about like that well this one you know goes all the way down might be something that you can use to check it because if they will fit in this gauge, they should definitely fit in a chamber. Because that's the factory spec right there. But, I just thought I'd share that with you. They're a very handy tool. I am going to have to get some for various other calibers. I just keep all the instructions in there with it and leave it hanging on my bench. Right up here with my, I have a 41 as well. I'm going to get me a one for 38 I reckon. But I got more stuff to do so I'm going to get out of y'all's hair.